Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Tech Blocks, the game where you can build your a car. <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping that. But obviously, it's a game about building vehicles. You got engines, you got vehicle parts, you got wheels, you get all kinds of stuff. You can also build mechanical things as well using all these parts. So last time I built this go-kart thing, but this time I'm going to be using this stock build frame, which is basically the base frame of a car. It's got uh, a big car engine in the front. It's got wheels. It's got seats. And I can just create whatever shape I want for a car. So I'm going to try to make a cool looking car. I'm probably going to fail at that, but it'll be a car. But before we do that, I want to take a look at the go-kart again because they recently had an update that supposedly fixed an issue with my go-kart because some of you may have noticed that my go-kart was kind of leaning on three wheels. Like one of the wheels wasn't aligned properly despite... Uh, the fact that I placed it symmetrically with the other wheel. So apparently there was a suspension issue or some type of alignment issue that is supposedly fixed. So let's see how this uh, go-kart functions now. All right, check it out. We got our full on 220 horsepower car engine on here. And now, as you can see, my go-kart's actually flat. And it drives so much better. Okay, it's still not good on the ramps, but it drives so much better on flat ground now. This drives so good now. This is amazing. Yeah, last time I could not stay on the road because I was wobbly all over the place. But no, oh, look at, oh my, we can kind of, we can kind of drift a little bit. Do I still have brakes? Oh, there we go. This is so good now. All right, I honestly, I knew it was, I knew it supposedly fixed that tilting issue, but I didn't think it was going to affect the handling that much. This thing's amazing. I keep tapping the uh, emergency brake, which is spinning my back wheels out, which is actually cool that it works so well. All right, we definitely, we need speedometers. Let's get some speedometers in this game. Look at this. This is so cool. All right, so that worked amazing. That was a really awesome update. So let's get on to building our new car now that we've seen that uh, the go-kart is fixed. All right, so here we go. Let's start with this basic frame. Um, I am probably going to do a terrible job at trying to build this thing, but let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to start out filling. Oh, it looks like we do actually have a maximum. We can go 10 long, and then we got to create a new piece. But I'm going to start filling out the sides. I really feel like uh, where I'm going to have issue is with the hood of the car. It's probably going to be very difficult for me to shape that thing. Let's check out. I think there should be windows somewhere. Let's see how these car windows feel if I place them. Oh, that, not that one. All right. I think I've definitely not made the side of this car tall enough. You know, looking at these people here, I feel like I'm really going to have to have a tall car in order to fit them in here. Oh, did I just accidentally? Why do I keep doing this? We need a control Z, please. We need a control Z. So I figured out why I keep accidentally right clicking to delete things and that is because in order to rotate the camera I have to right click in order to rotate otherwise my mouse just moves so if I'm pointing at something and then I go to right click and rotate but if I just right click and then decide I don't want to rotate I accidentally delete a part basically so that's why I keep deleting stuff. All right, well, anyway, let's get back to trying to figure out how my windows are going to work here. I feel like these windows are kind of way too small. All right, so you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to make a convertible. That way we don't have to have a roof on this thing. Likely a terrible looking convertible. All right, so right now I'm just trying to shape the front of the vehicle. I think I have an okay looking hood shape here. But corners is where it's going to get kind of difficult for me, I think, to uh, fill in the gaps smoothly. I know that it has all the parts, but I'm not used to using that kind of part. All right, so here's where I got to, like, figure out, you know, using these uh, pyramid blocks or something. But I got these lights in here, and I wanted to kind of put some glass over it. But it appears that uh, there isn't actually a glass material to paint with. Instead, we have two glass things. We have a scalable glass plate and a scalable glass triangle, which I don't know if that's enough for me to do what I want to do here or not. So let me see. I'm going to put a scalable glass wedge in front of that. Oh, wow. That's really, really glass. You can, can't even see it. Ooh, that kind of looks cool. That was an unintentional thing. You know what? I might keep that. That actually, I do kind of like the way that that looks. The way that it kind of cuts off the light. It just makes it, look ang it makes it look angry in the front. I like that. All right, so now I got to figure out what did I even do there so I can do it on the other side. All right, I think I put that there, and then in the headlights, I've got this thing, which I did like that, right? And then underneath here, I put these 
three blocks down. And then I had these two things on here. And then I use a scalable plate to kind of fill that in right there. I don't even know if I needed to do that, but uh, then I got... So that goes out over to there. And then I just put these wedge blocks down to there. All right, there we go. I kind of have the front of the car, but I just, I don't like, this doesn't look right to me. For some reason, it looks way too wide in the front. This should kind of scale back. This should round off a little bit. All right, I think that looks a little bit better, but it's still not what I had in my mind. <laughs> this is kind of like drawing for me. I always have like an image in my mind that looks really amazing. And then I try to put it on paper and, um, doesn't come out looking quite the same. So that's exactly the kind of experience I'm having right now. <laughs> it just kind of goes to show that building with this level of detail and shapes, uh, it is an art. All right, let's try to see what kind of windshield works now. That's actually already looking pretty good, isn't it? I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to merge that windshield over here though, but I feel like that's a good size. Well, let's see what the other ones are like. Oh, this is an interesting one too. So we, we just have like different angles of windscreens, it seems like. This one's like a more steep angle, which gives that uh, more aerodynamic feel. Although with the height of this one, it seems to be <laughs> like they're gonna be staring right into the top of it. Oh, it would help if I put it centered, huh? All right, there we go. So now how am I gonna make this merge well? This is where I think one of this kind of piece is going to come into play here. I am having a very difficult time trying to figure out how to smoothly transition between this two by one angle to this one by one angle that is offset from that two by one angle. I don't know if it's possible. Like I've been trying all the different combinations, but a lot of these shapes are so confusing to me. Like what is this scalable double sliced versus a scalable half double sliced? Like look at this. I mean, I guess. I, I can see, I can see how this could be uh, a useful shape here. Is that what I need, kind of? Almost? No, because see, if I extend it this way, then it totally doesn't match. It does match there, but then it does not match over here. So that's the issue I keep running into right now. All right, I couldn't figure it out, so this is what I did. And uh, you know what? Uh, it's art, okay? That is an artistic choice. It's an artistic design choice, and um, that means it's perfectly fine and acceptable, okay? All right, now I got to figure out what I'm even doing with the back of this thing. You know what I'm tempted to do for the back is, uh, I don't know if combining, if putting more than one engine has an effect on the power in this game or not, but I kind of want to, oh, I just deleted something. I did it, I did it again, I did the thing again, <laughs> but I kind of want to put an engine in the back. All right, so by the looks of it, this engine gets automatically hooked up to the wheels. So I'm actually going to disconnect the wheels from that engine. And I want to compare and contrast. I want to see how it feels when this engine isn't hooked up and we have just the front engine hooked up. And then we're going to do another test where this engine, where both engines are hooked up to the wheels. So we're going to see if it feels any different. All right, I filled the back in. I made a big compartment for the engine. Uh, I, th I think the back looks kind of weird. I kind of made it look like this could be the front of the vehicle, but I don't know how to not do that. So we're going to stick with it. It's art. Um, I gave the seats some extra, like, I, there should be back seats here, but I filled in that space because, um, I can't have smaller back seats than these right here, and they all, they'll have people in them too. So I just filled them in to, oh, I did the thing again. But yeah, I filled them in to have, uh, these things behind the seats to kind of make it look like more of a racing car. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it, uh, my colors, and we're gonna put it on the road. All right, you can see the back engine starts, but, uh, supposedly... It is not gonna be, it's not gonna be actually hooked into anything. So let's see how fast we can go with one engine. Definitely feels like cruising speeds, not really racing speeds just yet. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's a little bouncy on the, on the ramp there. All right, but turns nice so far. Really consistent on the road. I don't, I don't have any uh, emergency brake set up right now. So I can't do the emergency brake thing yet. So I'll definitely put the emergency brake in when we do our next test with the double engines. All right, but I can, sl yeah, slowing down is not the same as an emergency brake, that's for sure. But this thing, it drives so nice. This is really, really easy to drive. It's very smooth. Here, let's go off-road. See how it feels off-roading. I mean, it's just still flat. It's not really that off-road. But uh, all right, I'm happy with this. 
All right, let's try to ramp things up a little bit. I'm going to hook up the other engine. I'm going to add an emergency brake into it. All right, let's go into the wiring. Let's go ahead and hook this engine up to there. All right, and now let's also hook the brake up to the back wheels only. So now I think we're ready to try it. The other engine should be hooked up. We should be good to go. We should have an emergency brake. Let's see how it feels. Oh, this definitely feels faster. We had way more acceleration. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep, we are definitely going faster. That is for sure. Holy cow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I honestly wasn't sure if uh, more than one engine would increase the total horsepower or if they were just kind of they were just kind of both be doing the same exact thing. All right, so now let's test out the brake. Oh, we can actually drift with this thing. All right, well, if I actually, you know, do my acceleration and braking appropriately. All right, I need to pick up some speed. All right, here we go, ready? No, this is not, uh, oh, that was okay. That was okay. It was very, very subtle. It wasn't an extreme drift or anything. The turn wasn't that extreme either, so. But man, the brake is so much more useful than not having a brake. Brake is so much, oh no, ooh. Okay, we hit a tree. Can I fit two engines in this compartment? Oh, oh yes. Oh, there we go, right there. All right, I'm gonna confine these engines in a newly shaped compartment and I am looking forward to seeing how this feels compared to what we just had. Oh, I just deleted a whole wheel thing. Oh no. All right, so I think the engines are automatically hooked up. So let's give a triple engine car a try now. All right, here we go. It's gonna be, oh boy. Is something, all right, I think, I think we're okay. Okay, whoa, okay, oh, we hit the ground there a little bit. All right, holy cow, this thing has a lot of power. Even like the brakes don't even do much anymore. All right, big turn here, big turn here. Whoa, that was decent. We have so much weight though in the back that I feel like uh, it doesn't want to let me drift that much. The wheels just grip now with both engines on the back wheels. The engines are literally on the back axle, so that's just giving us a ton of grip in the back. Man, I can't wait until they put destruction physics in this thing. That is on the roadmap is to put destruction physics. All right, here we go. I'm going to take this thing right off this right here. See what happened. Oh! <laughs> and we're back in action. Look at that. That did not quite go as I thought it was going to go, that's for sure but uh, it didn't make it any less epic. All right, yeah, let's just not stick to the road at all anymore. You know, we could probably drift better on the grass now that I think about it. The grass has a little bit less traction. Here, let's try to, there we go. That was, that was not bad. That was a little bit better than doing it on the road. See, so, yeah, that's the secret. Just uh, go on the grass. Okay, that was weird. Perfect flip, followed by a 720. And then right back onto the road. This is a stunned vehicle now at this rate. <laughs> All right, well, this is getting fun. It definitely takes a lot of work and a lot of patience to kind of go through the parts and uh, build the car of your dreams. But then that's kind of how these games go. The more freedom, whoa, okay. The more freedom you have in these games, usually the more time consuming it ends up being to build in the games. But uh, I can't wait to see what the, what the destruction is gonna feel like in this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Let me know if you wanna see more in this game, what would you like to see happen? And reminder that this is completely free to download and play at any point right now. So check the description if you liked it and you wanna play it yourself. It's in pre, pre alpha, like early, early stages but you can uh, help give some feedback if you want to be part of the early stage testing of this. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Hope this video earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.